Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenroff here. My daily quest today is to cast black and green spells. So I figured now's as good a time as any to show off a standard mutate deck of mine. This is one I've shown off on stream previously. Subscribe to the channel if you want to <laughs> see when a stream uh, shows up. Ring the bell, all that jazz, yada yada. Uh, but this is slightly different than the one that I had at the time. Uh, so, the idea is pretty simple. You, you remember all those packs of Ikoria I've been opening trying to get all of my Triomes? Yeah, that means I also open basically everything that has mutated in the set, and that isn't a mythic. Uh, which means we get lots and lots and lots and lots of these. This is a, less than a block deck. This is essentially just a set. And we could maybe even make a version where all of the non-lands anyway are from the same set. I'm actually positive that we could. Uh, Gilded Goose becomes, what is it, Mysterious Egg, uh, I think that's its name, or the one, yeah, Mysterious Egg, or the one drop black one, Zagoth Mamba, and we could take out our lands that are also, we just make more lands here, uh, and so on. It, easy enough, this is basically just a set. And so the idea is that we play Gilded Goose, there probably be more than one, but we play Early Ramp, or we play something that builds off of you're mutating. So, Polywog Symbiote reduces mutate cost and lets you loot whenever you do so. Uh, actually, whenever you cast a creature spell, if it has mutate. Uh, so you don't even have to mutate, you just have to cast a creature spell that has mutate and you still get the loot. Uh, Essence Symbiote, uh, which is, it puts a plus one plus one counter on a creature that mutates and you gain a couple life. Cool. Now we get into the actual mutate card. So we have C Dasher Octopus for you know drawing a card and it has flash and it mutates with flash as well. And the mutate is only two mana, so attack in with something, mutate, ta-da! And you can keep doing that turn after turn. Most of these, however, will care about how many times you mutate. Like for example, Insatiable Hemophage. This is one of your win cons. Whenever it mutates, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of times it's mutated. It can just happen over and over and over again. Uh, Gem Razor is probably the, the most useful uh, in most of the game. It's a 4-4 with reach and trample, and it gets to naturalize. It gets to destroy an artifact or enchantment. So it kind of just gets to do everything. Now it has to mutate in order to get that last effect, but thankfully the mutate is pretty cheap. Occasionally, the green-green will be a bit of an issue. This is a three-color deck in standard, after all, but not too likely. Then we have Migratory Great Horn. This is part of the reason why it's not too likely. Uh, get all the basics out of your deck, and we have a few. We have six. <laughs> More than it. Well, uh, that's a few. Bonyard Lurker is the weakest one, so I have it only at one. Brokoss could go here as well, or one of your other enablers, like Mysterious Egg or Zagoth Mamba. There we go. Uh, this one just returns a permanent card from your graveyard to your hand, again, whenever it mutates. The mutate cost and the casting cost are four, and there aren't any extra little abilities, but having a regrowth that can happen multiple times seems like it might be pretty good. Only a one of, uh, in part because, uh, well, I just said it, but also because uh, in order to get any utility out of that, you need to already have permanence in the grave. That's more likely to happen the later the game goes on, so having fewer means by the time you finally come across one, you're more likely to already uh, need it. We also have Fable Passage, so at the very least, it is just permanent, not non-land permanent. You can just get a fetch land back, for instance. Uh, Auspicious Sterex. Okay, or Starex. When it mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile X permanent cards, where X is the number of times it's mutated. Put those permanents onto the battlefield. The deck is entire... well... Counting these being played as lands, it's entirely permanence. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to just get the whole deck out. Just puke the whole deck out onto the field. It's great. It's pretty great. <clears throat> uh, but this, so this is another actual wing con. By, by the virtue of it being a 6-6, six, six, at that point, it's just... It, you can kill it, of course, in standard, but it gets harder and harder as they get bigger and bigger, and this is as big as it gets. And then Chittering Harvester, which mutates for five, which is a lot, but when it does so, each opponent sacks a creature. So you, you have one to gain life, one to destroy artifacts and enchantments, one to make them sack creatures, add it all together, and you have, uh, 
you have a very disruptive deck even if you only play one spell a turn. And an inevitable one at that. Uh, aside from that, I have a few utility uh, modal spells, spell lands, whatever they're called. Uh, there's an acronym for it, sorry I don't remember off the top of my head. Seagate Restoration for late game card draw, and it negates the need for us to ever have a hand size at that point. Uh, Turn Timber Symbiosis is the most useful one, and that's because it goes and gets you a creature out of the top seven cards, and if it's a small enough creature, you get to just throw uh, yeah, uh, three additional plus one plus one counters on it. Agadim's Awakening, also pretty useful. It, it's part of the reason we want to run black. Despite the restrictive cost, if you can get it to work, you get to just reanimate two, three, four creatures, and that's pretty nice. So later on in the game, this can be silly. Uh, yeah, and then just a bunch of lands, one island, one swamp, four forest, because that's the most used color, and it lets us get Gilded Goose out. Uh, three Temple of Deceit, two Temple of Malady, four Temple of Mystery, most important colors in the deck, four Zagoth Trium, and four Fable Passage. Uh, quick thing that I would like to... I I'm saving my wild card, my rare wild card, I only one, uh, but quick, one quick upgrade, upgrade you can make is adding Gilded Goose, not just for ramp, but also when you mutate, you mutate onto a flying creature, so it can get in for damage more easily. Uh, and I, you know, you could take out the Boneyard Lurker, it's probably the, the easiest one to take out. Um, yeah, aside from that, you could even take out some of these, but I would want to replace them with lands instead of going to too few lands. There's 23 in the deck right now. It, I'd like to have enough land drops that we can consistently uh, get. We can consistently make our curve to about turn four. Also, I do not know that this is true, but I, I've been told, and it seems to be the case, that the best of one shuffler that gives you usually like two or three lands, it's pretty consistent about keeping you at two or three, does not care about these. So if you need to get more lands in your hand, having the spell lands. Um, makes it makes it more likely for it to give you uh, the ones that you'll be able to use. Like, it, it more likely to give you more lands in a deck that wants that. There we go, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and that's the deck. There's no sideboard right now. There could very well be. In fact, if you take out these three right here, uh, then you can put in... Uh, what's your name? Oh yeah, and, and also it'd be nice if I got the... What's your name, dude? Uh, Umori, not Omori, Umori. Okay, uh, you could put in Umori because you would have all creatures in your deck and it'll reduce your creature's casting cost by one. Yes, that works on Mutate. So one thing that you could do really quickly is to uh, simply, if you'd like, uh, you can add in more of the, like, again, Mysterious Egg, Zagath Mamba. You can also try uh, Dreamtail Heron for card draw and Pouncing Shore Shark for unsummoning. It just bounces a creature your opponent controls to its owner's hand. Because this is a deck that can be kind of slow, having something to slow the opponent down might make the difference for you. Uh, plus, we are playing in a format with cards like Embercleave and whatnot, so keeping the opponent off their max number of creatures seems like a good idea. Um, yeah, and I guess if you really want to get silly, you have this, this sexy beast, uh, this leviathan. Um, yeah, I mean, but this is six mana, and I'm, I'm looking at some of the other options. Uh, yeah, I want to focus on these two, primarily, if you're not going to add more enablers low to the ground. Or just more gilded goose, add all the gilded goose, four gilded goose, there you go, and then take out one other. Uh, but I'm going to try it this way. We can we can switch it up later on if we if we like, uh, which I probably will. Because it's not an ideal version of the deck, I'm not going to play ranked. I'm just going to do stand, just regular play. Um, if we had a more idealized version of it, then sure, but but we don't. So one quick little thing. This is a, a gift I got for Christmas. It, the the yellow tinted glasses to help with uh, eye strength, like negating blue light to reduce eye strain. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's been something like a dec- no, god, more than a decade since I've worn glasses. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hmm. Because we have the migratory great horn, I'll keep it. 
if I can make it to three mana, then there we go. You know, actually, we'll hold up opt. Like, make it seem as if we might have an opt there. Oh, dear. Yeah, something to make it a little bit easier. I can, I, what I had been doing previously is turning on night mode for my computer, the night light, where it turns off blue light altogether, because I have it set all the way up. Uh, but this just looks so much better. I can actually see blue. I don't have to turn off blue entirely. Um, you know, it's it's nice. I'll keep it on for a bit. The glasses they they can get in the way and all that jazz. But you know. All right. So we'll attack. Attack first. Make sure it can go through. All right. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we can make this work. I don't think so. I think it's dying. Fire prophecy, sh shock, all kinds of things. Oh, wait. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now they can kill it. Now you kill it. Okay, there it goes. That's more like it. That's what we come, we've come to expect. Um. Maybe that's not right, but I'm trying it. I'm looking for another, uh, creature to eat. Either another creature to enable mutate or a land that comes in untapped. So maybe it's a bit greedy there. Maybe. This is a weakness to running a mutate deck though. You lose your one creature and you're kind of out of commission for a while. Oh, there we go. Ah, we got there. And if it'll... Oh yeah, I don't have the mana for it. It reduces the cost for Migratory Great Horn. But even if I had an extra one, I don't have green. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame. Now, thankfully, this is out of shock range. We'll see. We'll see if we can make it work. But there we go. Oh, always itchy. Aha! Uh -huh. Getting it out of the way now, I suppose. Well, okay then. Uh, not much I can do. We'll just pass the turn. But I'll hold up control to make it seem like I might have something. Okay, that's good. Hopefully we're giving them the wrong impression. Uh, could I trade? I would, <laughs> I would like five lands, please. Ah, okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it. We'll hang on to it. Oh. Hopefully I caught it in time. There we go. Hmm. Thrill. Uh, we'll let that resolve. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully they think, since I have double blue up, that I have cantrip, counterspell, and they're going to try to play a little bit more cautiously. That's the hope. That said, we're down to the point where, yeah, it, oh, and I'll, also I didn't hold up control. Uh, we're down to the point now where they can just kind of go for it. Yeah, it's a bit of a drag. I didn't see Mill coming. I should have, especially since, you know, they just drew a bunch of cards with Cathartic Reunion and Thrill Possibility. Uh, but I didn't. Okay, so now... Uh, in that case, I don't want to prioritize Migratory Great Horn as much. We can't play the Gem Razor here. We need to use it for Mutate. It doesn't matter. They're, they're going to... I'm going to lose this card, whatever it is. So we'll play that. Hopefully we can get Gem Razor to do its thing. Here's to hoping. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Blitz of the Thunder. Okay, that's fair. Hey, there it goes. What's my card count at? 43? Alright. We might have, might have a bit of time. We'll see how many more of those. Glimpse of Freedom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's going to draw them a bunch of cards. Ooh, that's not good. Even more. Okay. Well. Hmm. Yikes. Alright, well, we're in trouble. 
Well, I, I think I may have spoken a bit too soon, folks. Just a bit. Alright. Awakening. Yes! Uh, it's, it's not gonna matter, we're gonna lose it in a sec. But, I'll take it. Alright, cast it normally. We need this gem razor to... Oh, yep, yeah, we need the gem razor to resolve. We can't let this thing die. Just casting it, unfortunately, isn't enough. It has to actually mutate. Well, how many do they have in the yard? Just the one? Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So there's a guy over at Tapstart Games named uh, Chase Randall, and I think that's the last name. Dude has glasses like this. Kind of, I don't know. Reminds me of him. He's a cool dude. Okay. Thankfully, since they've played so many cards, we can probably get a decent idea as to whether they have counter magic or not. I haven't seen a single one there. We look at their exile. Okay, probably no counter spells. So, this should... Wait a minute. Cancel. Uh, how many do I have? Six? And these both take three. That's fine, I'll do Gym Razor first. So that I have the maximum amount of mana to compete over soft magic. Are you serious? Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. It works out. Because, wait a minute, what's the... Alright, I don't know how many lands I want to go for here against a mill deck. Alright. Uh, under. Yes, please. Alright. Let's blow that one up. And there we go. Maybe we can turn a corner here. That's not a lot of cards left. But thankfully, we don't need too much time. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Every time I mutate, I'm going to uh, drain them for more and more. And Chittering Harvester can come next, even if I don't. Even if they don't have any creatures, I can use it just to turn on. Oh no! What do we have now? Seven, five. Oh great! Well, this is this is great. Um, Blitz would do it. Opt. Uh oh! Stop! Do we even have enough time now? So we're about to go to three, two when we draw. Uh-oh. Yeah, we might legitimately not have enough time anymore. This doesn't even improve the power of the cre- Ah, you got me. Well, it happened. Give them the good game. They got me. All right. That wasn't as close as I hoped it would be. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's Mill, and we're not running Yorian. Uh, what are you? What are you? What are you gonna do, right? What are you going to do? I tried. Mm. <clears throat> hmm. So is it not worth splashing? I, I guess the mana base would would answer that question for me. It's not worth splash splashing black for cards like Drown in the Lock. Um, crits. Okay. Maybe like a some of the rogues that can mill as well. But they don't draw cards, so I, I guess it's good to go all in on what they're trying to do. Yeah, they're going to come in tapped, but we can make it work. Alright, so try them first. We definitely don't want to use the fetch land here because... I would like to draw more lands, and if I use a fetch land to thin, I'll be less likely to find a land in a bit. So there's Opt. Oh, by the way, tell them hello. Hello. Alright, pass right along. I'm expecting, because this isn't the ranked queue, not to come across the same kinds of decks. Uh, case in point, there's an Evolving Wilds. A copy of Evolving Wilds, alright. Passing it along? Alright, we'll take it. Hmm. Normally the answer is green, but I see a Sea Dasher Octopus. I may want to go for blue. Yeah, we'll go for blue, just in case I need to uh, cast, I need to flash it in. Um. Doesn't matter too much. Yeah, let's go for it. Symbiote will let us loot, which means we're more likely to find a land later on. But, I mean, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. To 
fairy's tutelage. Yeah, this again. Good times. Good times, folks. Well, at least we have a gem razor now. At least we have that, so, uh... Maybe a teeny tiny bit of regret about not getting a forest. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Alright, we could also go for the card draw here. No, it's fine. Let's, uh, let's mutate. Do what we gotta do. Uh, discard one of the symbiotes. Also, I just learned that that is not a may, it's a must. Interesting. Okay. hi ya Bang. Alright. I'm sure that they have some sort of bounce shenanigans. Hmm. Alright. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Well, at least we can blow one of those up. They did tap out, so Jim Razor gets to do its thing. We get, we, we get an instant rematch. Um, aside from mana consistency, I'm not sure what the... Well, we haven't seen enough to know what all the benefits of staying mono blue would be just yet. It might also just be a budget concern, because this is Arena. Uh, it took me forever to get all of the Izzet and, um, and Simic lands that we have in the format. Right here. Uh, discard. Um, discard. Discard. Alright. Uh, over. Yes. Yes, please. Boom. That's a. Let's get that out of the way as well. And. Wait, 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 wait. Each creature. Oh, if it has mutate. This doesn't have mutate. Okay. It does reduce the regular casting cost of the creature, but not that creature. It's okay, we can still make it work. Uh, this is probably the better thing to do anyway, just to completely remove all of them. I, I think we're probably okay. I don't think we need you anymore, bud. You've done your job really well. We will take that. Boom. Blow that up. Uh, actually, we'll get a swamp this time. I think we're good on green mana. And, do I want to cash in my wild card here? Yes, I think I do. We have enough mana we could actually use the cycling now on Zagoth Trihome. Hi-ya! Bang. That's the hope, anyway. Boom. Okay, much better. Much, much better. We will take this. That took longer than it should have, though, for me to go through all that. Ah, hi, crab. Oh, no, now I can't. They have a creature they can uh, sack instead. Interesting. Certainly fair enough. In that case, let's just make them do it a bunch. All right. Fire this off first. We'll mutate it. Put it over. All right. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, let's see. How much is this going to cost for me to do it again? Yeah, okay. We're, we'll take out the octopus, I believe. Well, let's take out the triumph actually, just in case. I, I doubt they have anything they can do at this point in mono blue, in a mono blue deck with rogues. But I don't know. We'll see. Hey, right, we'll get the last one out. The very last one. Make them sack a creature. And then, lo and behold, we can do it again. Yay! And make them sack the other creature. Woo! And make them, uh, you know, lose all the life. Ta-da! Discard a card. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good, bud. You are good to go. Woo! Yay! Decline. Hi ya! Alright, what I get? Um. 
yeah. Once again, we'll just keep it in for the cycle. Keep it in for the cycling. I think we're good now, though. Hopefully we're good. Uh, I say that. There will be unsummon effects, I'm sure. If it's made for this standard, which is as creature heavy as can be, it's an ember cleave standard, and questing beast, and uh, well, bone crusher is a weird card to to put back. Anything with adventure is a weird card to put back. Oh my goodness, do you? Oh, do you have something I don't know about? Oh, okay. Uh, let's just fire right off the bat. Okay, there it is. There it is. Alright, see now in response, we can mutate and the trigger from, not Harvester, but Hemophage will kill them. Oh wait, uh, pfft, should have been Great Horn. Not that it matters, but it should have been Great Horn. Because I'm already out of basics. We might have said good game, I think. There we go. Alright, so it ended up working out. Woo! Ta-da! That's... That's how it's supposed to go. Also, joy of wearing glasses. If I tilt my head too far back, you can see the the lights. Shoutouts to Chris Long from Tapstart Games for for throwing those at me. You are you are awesome, dude. <laughs> you are really awesome. I appreciate them. They make this a lot easier. I can be seen. Let there be light. Fiat Lux. Let there be light. Let's get at least one more win in. We can do that. We can make that work. Or maybe it, nah, it's too late now. The best thing maybe I should try the Amori version of it see what that would look like. Uh, it doesn't... I get enough mana, I could get a commander... or a commander... companion out. Commander. There we go. Ooh. Uh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Fable Passage, Forest, Island, Symbiote. <sighs> sea Dasher or Gem Razor. And pass. Alright, well at least it's not Mill again. We get an actual, we get another actual deck. It mills an actual deck. We get another deck. There we go. Ooh. I don't think this is supposed to be a good matchup for me. Uh, they actually can kill the symbiote, so I have to be really careful. If they, sorry, sorry about that. Put something like a dead weight or a Myers grasp on it. Hey, we're in trouble. Alright. Symbiote first, and then if this doesn't work, we can hold up blue. Uh, Seagate Restoration to flash in an octopus on the end of their turn. What is this? Oh, okay, cool. Extra mana. Yay! And there it goes, by the way. There it goes. Dead weight. Ta-da! Alright. Um, should I get greedy? I shouldn't, but kind of would like to. We can, we can make this work. Backside, take three. Alright. And now we can flash in the octopus for one mana if we need to. Which is what we'll probably end up doing. Shovel. Beginning of your upkeep. Okay, cool. I'm good with that. Dude Buddy here does have Death Touch, though. That's not great. Ah. Uh, is it worth it? to drop the octopus just to loot? I think that the answer is probably no. Probably not. We would we would lose it immediately. Hmm. Uh, I hate to say, but I think we need to let it go. We'd be going down in card advantage for it. For that glorious privilege. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Let's let's try this out. Um, I think you're good, buddy. I think you're good. Sorry about that. There we go. All right, no creatures, so Shovel doesn't get to do anything. Uh, basically, he throws bounty counters on stuff, and if that if the stuff dies, then they get to draw a card and gain three life, but draw a card. Eternal thirst. Oh, fun. Well, at least we have Gem Razor. We can get rid of that. It's not much. It's honest work. 
Can they flash in anything? I would like to kill this uh, Eidolon. This may not be the best timing. I should wait. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wait, actually. Just take it. It's alright. They might, in main phase two, be able to play something uh, instead. Alright, my turn. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Alright. It doesn't make them cheaper, though. So it's important to go for the Gym Razor first, I would say. Uh, yeah, mutate onto you. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, I have to play that. I have to play the land first. That's important. Yeah, my bad. I knew it. I looked over that, and I somehow did it. Genius, Jay. Genius. Alright. So which one are we blowing up? Um, lifelink and dies plus one plus one counter. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I, uh, I don't know. It's not cheaper because that's not a symbi- or a polywag. 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 Whatever it's called. Polywag. It's totally polywag. Totally. Hmm. This seems like a deck that can kill creatures readily enough, I'm, and then the counter will stick around. So I am kind of worried about the uh, plus one plus one counters, to be honest. But this represents card draw, so let's blow it up instead. Hiya! Hey! Right on time, buddy. Right on time. In case they have a sack effect, I'll play you out, but that's not great. They Unfortunately, a weakness to doing that is, if they have Miner's Grass, Put a bounty counter on the symbiote, kill it, draw a card. And by playing creatures, it makes them more likely to get counters on Shovel. So that's not good. That's not fun. And there's Lurus. Main board Lurus. And they get Myers Grasp this turn. And there it goes. So they get to draw a card, gain some life, get it bigger. That's not good. Gain even more life. That's not good. Okay. Um, how's about some deck thinning? We'll say Swamp. Hmm. I would gain more life if I play the Hemophage first. I don't actually know which one is correct, to be honest. Regardless, I'll get to uh, blow up the enchantment, so at least there's that. Blow that up. And then... can blow up the other one, which again doesn't matter too much because uh, they're going to get it right back with Luris, unfortunately. But I'm trying. I'm doing my best. Yeah, that's the one. Get the last one out. Hopefully we thin the deck enough that it's likely enough that we'll... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I don't know if it's a great idea to attack. It doesn't matter. We'll... Yeah, it does matter, doesn't it? What's in their graveyard? Hmm... They could put Eternal Thirst on Lurus, and then I'd be in trouble. Wouldn't I? No, no, no. No, that, that, that doesn't make sense. It feels wrong to just play defense here, because in two turns they can kill my Gem Razor. Dead weight, Myers Grasp. So I'm going to lose this Gem Razor no matter what. Realistically. So I might as well get the damage in now. Bang. But, they're going to gain all that right back. I get to draw a card, and of course I get a land. Okay, that's fair. I expect that. Wait, did they not? Oh, it does have a counter. And they had it. There we go. Well, I tried. I tried. Oh, no, there's not a creature. Well, we don't have quite enough mana for Starix yet. Um, especially if there's not a creature that can survive one of the little ones anymore. Indeed, there is not. I can't. That's a 4-6. That actually could. We can, we can try for this. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe we can make it work. Gem Razor. Uh, that is an enchantment creature. Yeah, we'll hang on to it. Plus, I can make them sack a creature and blow up a creature. 
Granted, they'll just sack a token, but we t I, uh, we take those. Oh, do you have it? Underworld dreams, dear God. Okay. Oh, am I dead here? Yeah, I. Uh, I can't block you. You you fly. Shoot fly. All right. Well, I, I know what the top of my deck consists of, and I know I'm dead. So, we'll just play it in, out for the, uh, the quest progress, I suppose. Oh, it doesn't actually matter. Underworld Dreams. There we go. There we go. Alright. Fire. Uh, under. I can make it ever so slightly bigger, Gabe. But, uh, by getting rid of the Myers Grasp. Or I could blow up their creature. Again, this decision absolutely does not matter. When an opponent draws a card, deals one damage to that player. Like, it, it actually makes zero difference at this point. Theoretically, that would be the better thing to do. Make them sack a token. And then we're done. Whoop. There we go. Good game. Good game. It happens. At least it wasn't Milliken. Maybe that's a little more entertaining. I think Imori would like to have a word with us, though. Yeah, let's let's try it. Let's try it out. I haven't gotten anywhere too terribly close to being able to use those, so we'll add some more lands. Um, though I don't have any more of these, otherwise I would. We can add... Uh, I could go Forest Swamp Island. Actually, let's, let's go like this. Giving more lands for... Uh, oh, well, well. Yeah, giving more lands for... Uh, Migratory Great Horn to go and find is a good idea anyway in general. So that works out. Also, Mythos of Brokos. That's well then I couldn't run in more. Oh Mori, yeah. Ooh Mori. Ooh Mori. Ooh. Ooh ooh Mori. Ooh ooh. There we go. That's cursed. That's now unbelievably cursed, isn't it? Umo. That'll do it. Make you my companion. A Alright, so no matter what, we'll always have a creature in hand. And let's try it again. Just worth a shot. It's worth trying out. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't make a bit of difference. In all likelihood, it won't make a bit of difference. Alright, so we're at 25 lands in the deck. Gabby my baby. Gabby my baby. <laughs> Just trying to make it sound alike. Gabby my babby. There we go. How is Babby formed? The world may never know. Yeah, we'll keep. I'm missing a color, but I have a scry land right off. A temple. Hey, we got there. Still don't have something cheap to play. And we're gonna lose to enchantment shenanigans. Well, maybe. We have Gem Razor. We might be able to make it work. Probably not. I mean, look at that curve. But, let a guy hope. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Ooh, well, there you are. There you are. At least in Mono White, hopefully, they won't have answers to a, a random creature. Of course, of course they will, but because they run creatures, they can't run sh Shatter the Sky. Hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, well, then. Hmm. Hmm. Go, 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 and say she will have face. Ah, go, go, three, three, nightmare. There we go. Now we can make it work. I'm gonna turn into Mr. Fantastic. Okay, waiting for all that glitters to come and ruin my day. That's what I'm expecting at this point. Oh yeah, the joy of glasses, I, pushing them, Ah, uh, Well, where's Heliod? 
That's another thing that'll that'll do it. That'll do it. Okay, now. So then, I'm gonna start off with you. Boop, boop. Blow up the casket. Well, we could blow up uh, Dexos. Yeah. No. This cannot protect uh, artifacts, thankfully. Okay, nice. Uh, we'll wait. We'll wait. Hi, Lurus. Okay. Okay. Do it again, I dare you. Do it again. Hmm. You first. Blip. Yeah, we'll get a swamp. Make sure we have our, our enough black mana consistently. Okay. So this cost... Yeah, we can't do any two of these. Unfortunately. We're getting close to you, buddy. Wait, 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 wait. What? Are we there? No, 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 no. We can cast it, but the mutate for that one is more expensive, not less. Um... It seems a little cute, but I think I would actually like to go for the Shore Shark here. If they protect the Lurus... Oh, yeah, there we go. If they protect the Lurus with All Seed, we can blow up Daxos. Alright. Could I stack... Okay. Also, could I stack the triggers the way that I would like? The answer's probably no. Uh... You. Cool. And it gets bigger. <laughs> Alright, what's Alsi going to do? Alsi, protect Luris, and then get it right back. Cool. Because Luris, they can get it right back. Alright. So now then... Boom. Wanna kill it? Double block, do it. I dare you. Do it. Hey. Alright, who dies? Protection. Oh, that's right. Protection from green. You genius. You genius. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, whale. You genius. The hope was that I could do 3 damage to her, 2 damage to Daxos, and then when Daxos is the last one left, Daxos would die. But, protection from green, because I'm a genius. Yay. I haven't said that enough, have I? Alright. Let's do this first. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Alright, Glass Casket's already done. Already done its job. Play you out, and then pass. Hi, Luris. Good to see you again, buddy. Wait, do they have another Glass Casket? Okay, you're CMC4, thankfully, but that's not ideal. Not exactly. It's not where we'd like to be. Alright. Once again, Jim Razor can start blowing stuff up. Sounds pretty good to me, except they can actually protect everything but the casket again. Is it worth it? Or should I roll the dice with Star X? I think it's worth it. Get the symbiote back. Alright, over, buddy. It's over. It's over! 9,000! Yes, of course. At least it gets better every time we do it. For whatever it's worth, at least it gets better. A. Alright. Under. Do your thing. Do your thing. Alright. Blow you up. A bunch of stuff. Hopefully. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, this time we'll get an island. We're pretty good on green mana now, I think. Do we attack? Do we tell him? Do we tell him, fellas? Uh, 
It has everything. Rage, Trample, Death Touch. Uh, well, I mean, it's going to turn that into a 5-5. Five, five. What can they get out of Oh, wait, if they play Daxos, another creature, they just need to cast one other thing. Yeah, we'll wait. We can make this work. We can wait. If I attack, then they can make the Hallowed Priest bigger, and they're just going to block with the All Seed anyway. So it's not worth it right now. There's Daxos again. Now if they play another creature, which they can, that's a Daxos from the hand. Well, hmm. I mean, legend rule, all that jazz. Alright, are you going to use Glass Casket again? Say what, I dare you. It's a trap. I know it's a trap. It's 100% a trap. So why am I doing this? Well, I mean, I can see what they have access to. So they, they can just sack the All Seed, I guess, is what's going on here? Probably. Probably. Alright, let's try it this way. Alright, there that goes, as expected. Alright, then it gets bigger. Okay. I will eventually stop doing that. Eventually. Maybe. Probably not. Alright, Elsie comes right back, as, as expected. Alright. Here we go. Let's start going to town on them. Get this thing as huge as can be. Over. Yes. It's over, Kakarot. Alright. Um, they, they can just sack it anyway to save Daxos. Whee! Whole bunch of stuff is going on here. At least we're gaining life. <laughs> we're doing something, folks. Alright. Hey! Alright, and then they save it. And we're snowballing out of control. Yes! Yes, indeed! Alright, no cards in hand. What could go wrong? Well, it's pro-green, but this has trample, but it's pro-green, but it has trample. All my creatures are green, so they can sneak through with Hallowed Priest every turn if they feel like it. If they really feel like it, they can. Alright, it's not worth it. We'll just wait. Because after all, when we mutate... Now, granted, I need to find a creature with mutate. But if we mutate, then we can just drain them for more anyway, turn after turn and just flood the board in cards we have in the deck. 38? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Alright. As expected, um... Hmm... I don't think it's a great idea to just let it through. It'd be nice to keep the Gilded Goose around in case I can start mutating onto you. Because the one thing you can't do is fly. But, you have Trample. We'll make it work. Would have been nice to have you sooner, buddy. Hey. Alright. Alright, please. Yes! Yes! Mwa ha 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 ha! ha 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 ha! Alright, let's just do all the things. And two more counters, and gain four more life. Um, <laughs> and let's just get all the things out. Let's put it over, because why not? Why not? Target you. Daxos, buddy. Why that one? Because it has enough toughness that it'll uh, reduce some of the damage thanks to Trample. Alright. What do we get? There's a Sea Dasher Octopus. Times two, and a great horn. Okay, so now regardless of what color for protection we have to work with. Ooh, ooh, okay. Hey, we take those. Hmm, hmm, all right. Yeah, as you do. Do I even want to? Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll deck then. We have one more forest in the deck, I believe. Let's see. 
Why? Because why not? Yep, yeah, that's the one. Okay. So, maximum... Oh, no, Jay, you just had a mutate creature. What did you... Why did you do that? Did you... Did you really for... Yes, I did really forget. I... am a genius, folks. Yeah. Yeah. Rip. Rip. Granted, most of the deck is a live draw at this point. Alright. As expected, but we're just gonna trample over at them. Yeah, just do what you do. Do what you gotta do. Oh, Jay. Jay. Insert beating yourself up for ten years. Alright. Then they'll gain some more life. Cool. Huh. Hey, okay. Didn't matter. I would have liked to see what the next card would have been, but it didn't matter. You just snowball out of control, you know, as you do. As you do, still. Mm, 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 Jay. Mm, mm. That's what that sounds like. Uh, yeah, let's get another one. One more, one more. I was checking the time. We're not at the hour mark yet. I can get one more. P. Polito. Young whippersnapper, you're younger than I am. That's totally what that is. Alright. Mmm. You will make it work. Lots of low curve shenanigans. The Pouncing Shore Shark mutates for. Once we have a Polywog Symbiote 3, Symbiote out. I knew what I meant to say. Yes. Alright. Slip and do your thing. Just trying to be optimal over here. And then we'll tell them hello. 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 Ooh. Okay. Cool. Pass. Alright, well, now we can do it. No more mana. This is standard. Yada, yada, yada. Alright. Grab an island. Island. Okay. Please don't die. Against Rakdos. Somehow. Please don't die. Against Jun. Jund, oh, okay. What does Jund in Standard look like outside of Cauldron Familiar? Oh, okay. Village Rites, uh, oh wait, wait, this is Transmogrify, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, I, I, I have a teeny tiny sample size, so I have no idea. Alright, we can play this to bounce you. We'll see. Oh, okay. Uh, drop one of the symbiotes. Boop! Alright. Gee, I wonder which one we're going to return. I have no idea. Alright. Cycle to cycle. Cool. And then hiya. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I could see Transmogrify into Titan Anthrax. Oh, this is the one that lets them take control of it. Oh, that's fun. Good for you. I've been saved by Fox. How swell. Yeah, I think we're good on blue mana. Let's play this first. Ooh, okay. Alright. Want to be a little careful about making them, uh... Oh, yeah, this is as long as they, as they control it. Okay, no blocks. So, Gem Razor, blow this thing up. Damage to itself equal to its power. There it goes. There's Transmogrify. Uh-oh. Now, now it actually does do something. Thanks, buddy. Boop. All right. Bop. Bop. All right, which one? I mean, we're getting really close to the point where we can just multiply you. I'd like to keep another base creature, but I think we're okay without Symbiote, so that I can double up on Sterix. Hey, I killed it without having to target it! Woo! Let's go! Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. 
bird in the hand. I'll, I'll go for the two in the bush. If I can find another land. Ah, must attack if able. It, thankfully, it won't matter for this. Each tapped creature deals damage to itself equal to its power, while its power is greater than its toughness. So, unless they have a shock or fire prophecy or 400 things they could have. Ooh, nice! We get to blow this thing up. Yay! Woo! Alright. Oop. So we got a hemophage anyway, as it turns out. Oh, and we have that. Discard. Now I will drop one. Ah, okay. That was quick. I do try to go for four wins each game, or each video. Uh, it's more than an hour now. It's still not an hour now. That was quicker than I thought it was. Huh. Okay. Oh, but my battery is for some reason going down, even though it's plugged in. Yeah, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to call it here. Because it's showing 25%. That's not ideal. Alright. I'll catch y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye. There, oh my goodness, bye-bye. <laughs>